In this video, I'm going to show you how to get to Google Classroom, how to log on to Google Classroom, how to join a class, and how to navigate the program. Before we begin, please take a moment to write down your student username and password. You will need this as we go along. You will also need your student email address. Your student email address is your computer username at students.wcboe.org. To begin, go to classroom.google.com. When you first arrive, it may take you to a page that looks like this, and that's okay. All you need to do is click on the blue button that says go to classroom. You have to sign in the first time using your school email address. You do not want to use a personal Gmail account. It's going to ask you is this a personal Google account or a G Suite account. You want to click on the top one that says G Suite account. When you get to this page, you'll need to sign in with your school email address and your normal computer password. It's going to ask that it wants to verify that it's you. Just hit continue. If this is your first time logging on, you will need to choose your role. Click I'm a student. Click the plus sign in the top right hand corner to join your class. You will need your code from your teacher. The first page you will see is your class stream. This is where messages from your teacher will appear along with notifications of when new assignments have been added. The next tab is the classroom section. This is where all of your assignments are located. It's important to know that each teacher's classroom will look different but should function the same. On the left, you can sort your view by all topics or each individual topic. Click on each assignment to see instructions. There are three main symbols used. Question. This is to answer a question asked by your teacher. It can be graded or ungraded. Assignment. This is an assignment. It may have attachments, so please look carefully. Material. This is used for resources or class materials. Typically, this is not graded. Now let's look at an example of a question. Click on View Question to see the question and reply. Type your answer here. Depending on your teacher, you may have an option to enter a class comment here. Private comments are visible to your teacher only. Once you have turned in an assignment, the color changes to gray instead of blue. On the right hand side of the assignment, you will see the due date and if it is turned in. In this example, this question was answered late. When you turn in assignments, they are time stamped. Click on your assignment to view comments or replies from your teacher. When opening an assignment, open all attachments. Google Drive automatically saves your work. There is no need to hit save. Simply close out the document. Attach your work by clicking on Add or Create. You can choose how you will attach work. Add a comment to your teacher. Click Turn In when finished. Make sure to check out each section carefully and turn in assignments on time. The People section shows you your teachers and other students in your class. Click on the menu in the top left hand side to access your Google Calendar. Here you will see assignments for your class and their due dates. Click on the little dots on the top right hand side to take you to your Google Drive. Your most recent documents will appear here. Click on your to-do list to see what assignments you have left to complete. Don't forget, you can download the Google Classrooms app on your phone or tablet to get easy access to your classes and receive instant notifications such as when an assignment has been graded.